Hey everybody, welcome back to another jam-packed edition of Score Center. Dave here, aka Scoring, and it is a pleasure to have your company. As usual, we have the AFL tipping coming up. We've got the eBay Top 10. We've got the predictors, as well as we've got we'll be opening up another highlight, and we'll be finishing off with packs of footy stars. But first, let's check in with round 20. And we only did four, so it was a bit of a mm, round for me. We uh, didn't kick things off well with a, a bad tip. We went for the Blues, but we had the Blues because Port won, and, but we did get Geelong, so that's something. And then we had a run of three losses. Wow, okay, not great. Um, D's only going down by two points. I think people were expecting them to lose more than that, so we almost got that tip. Uh, we did get Frio, we did get the Pies, so it was nice for the Pies to have a win. Um, and then, yeah, I wasn't expecting uh, Western Bulldogs. Why does it say Footscray? Is it Retro Round? Hmm. Well, it's cool to see Footscray there. Um, yeah, Footscray. Uh, well, last week they were Western Bulldogs. Um, but yeah, they had a big win over the Swans. And then Hawthorne. We got Hawthorne correct, so let's go to round 21. Can't believe that there's only one, two, three, there's only four rounds left in the home and away season. That is just not right. This year's going too quickly. Okay, Friday night. We have the doggy. Oh, foot scratch. Yeah, well, no, the doggies. They're, all, they're, they're the doggies, no matter uh, what. We have Footscray, is there any other? Will we have the Swans of South Melbourne? No, it just says Sydney. Okay. All right, okay. Footscray, Footscray FC, um, taking on the Ds. And let's, let's continue the doggy love. We'll go for them and we'll go for... Um... Maybe an even 12 points, even two goals. Then we've got another game on Friday night. We've got the Eagles taking on the Suns over at Optus. Ooh, I wanna go for the Eagles. I'm gonna go for the Eagles, because it's their home. Um, and then we've got North Melbourne taking on Richmond. And uh, let's, We'll give it the ruse. Let's, we'll give it for the ruse. And then we've got Geelong taking on the Crows. We'll go for the Cats. And then Saturday night, this is a biggie. It's uh, the um, ultimate rivals, Pies v Blues. Um, well, I'm going for my Pies, but I think it will be a very close, exciting game. Indeed, we'll do a team coach pack battle for that. So look out for that Saturday morning. And then, ooh, Port V Swans in Adelaide. Ooh, ooh, I don't know. Oh, look, we'll go for the Swans. Cause I don't think that they'll have another loss. Ooh, but I think that'll be super, super close. Maybe a one point win by the Swans. Um, and then Sunday Arvo, we've got the Giants and Hawthorne, and we'll go for the Giants there. And then we've got Essendon and Frio. Oh, look. I know people aren't really backing them, but I'll go for the Bombers. I think they'll get it done at the G. And then we finish things off with the Saints and the Lions, and... Oh, let's just go for the Saints. We'll go for the Saints. Why not? There you go. Let's check in with the comp and see... Where am I going? There we are. Now we will do the top 10 for round 21st. Ooh, nice. Caden, Todd Father, coming out on top. The only person that tipped seven for round 20. So well done, Caden. That is very, very awesome. Then we've got Bib Jib in second place, so we've got lots of people tipping six. So we had Bib Jib, we had Lachlan Collex, we had Talia B, Eagle Zone, we had Tacky, we have Mason and Jack Edwards all tipping six. 
and then we had Jack D. We had Caleb B and Quaddy rounding out the top 10. And then total tips. Ooh, okay. Brownie is still in the lead on 112. And then we have two people on 110. We have PC Demons, Peter and Brisbane Lion fan, Harry S, both on 110. So very, very, very close. We've got the Todd Father on 109. Then we've got Trudy Forever Proud on 108. Ben D on 108. Dylan, you're on 107, along with Mason. And Cam AFL 107. And then Riley finishes out the top 10. Now, where am I? I've probably all that. We're going down to 15. That's okay. That's all good. So, thank, well, there you go. Um, good luck with your tips. Let's see how you do next week. Time now for the eBay top 10 for the week of Monday, July 22 to Sunday, July 28. And we kick things off in 10th spot for 970 with the first of many of the uh, Brown Note Medalist series booklets that just came out. We have a Sam Mitchell Hawthorne one there. And that was number one as well. 001 of 150. Then in ninth spot for 995, we've got the Nick Dacos Copper DPS. And that was 109 out of 170. In equal seventh for $1,000, we've got Tony Lockett and Brownlow Medalist Booklet. And that was card for Booklet 45. And also selling for a thousand dollars. This is, well, I was about to say, the real deal. It's the, not from this year's release. This is uh, one of the uh, more recent Brownlow medalist booklets. Um, the Patrick Cripps 2022 um, gold Brownlow medalist booklet. Um, will he do it again this year? He's certainly on track. Um, yeah, that is number 91 of 185 for the golds. Then in sixth spot for $1,040, we've got a James Hurd um, from this year. And that was number 19. Then we've got another plugger Brownlow booklet. Uh, this one sold for $1,075. And it was number 138. Then in fourth spot for 1299 we go all the way back to the year 2000 and with the uh, select Y2K release. Uh, this is the Lee Matthews Legend Signature. That's awesome. I love how his signature has not changed at all um, in all this time. And that is 91 of 100. Then in third spot for 1,750, we've got the Nick Dacos Palladium, number 10 of 25. We've got another Nick Dacos card here, selling for 1,775. This is the uh, Brownlow Prospects Predictor Booklet. So that is the uh, Redemption card. Um, yeah, so that's very, very cool. Only number to uh, 35, so that's number 27. And in first spot, for $2,300. We have a Sam Doherty Superstar Signature Booklet out of Supremacy 2019. And that was not numbered. So, well, it, it is numbered. I know the number's on the front, isn't it? It's number 13. Number 13 out of 25. There you go, that is the Aussie cards for this week. Then we turn our attention to the international cards for the same time period on eBay Australia. And we kick things off in 10th spot for 2,200. We've got the Michael Jordan members only card out of Topps Stadium Club, 97.98. It is a uh, parallel one. And it's a Beckett 9. Then in ninth spot for 2,300, we've got a Kobe Bryant Timeless Talents signature out of Timeless Treasures 2012-13 and we do have a number on that that's 46 out of 99 
in eighth spot for 2,775. We've got a GG Jackson the second gold rookie signature out of Prism 20, uh, 2023 24. PSA Gem Mint 10 as well on that rookie card. And we can see it's gold. We know what that means. It's numbered out of 10. It's numbered 9 out of 10. In seventh spot for $3,000, we have an Arda Gula Red Refractor Auto um, for, for Fenerbahce um, out of Tops Merlin Chrome 2223. And that is numbered seven out of 10 on the front there for that rookie auto. In equal fifth spot for 3,200, we've got a LeBron James blank slate out of Court Kings 2223. PSA Gem Mint 10. And then we also have another LeBron James blank slate. This is from 1920 and it is also a PSA Gem Mint 10. In fourth spot, we have more blank slates here for 3,500. We've got an Anthony Edwards uh, blank slate out of the uh, 2223 Court Kings. And that is a Beckett 10. In third spot for 3,750, we've got a Jude Bellingham or Blue Refractor Auto um, from Merlin Chrome. That's 2020-21. PSA Gem Mint 10. And it is numbered 17 out of 75. In second spot for 4,500, we have Lamine Yamal Black Laser Auto numbered 8 out of 25 that came out of Chrome UEFA Club Competitions 23-24 and then in first spot selling for 7,750 we have one of the greatest basketballers of all time Bill Russell epic signatures this came out of Upper Decks Century Legends and released in 1999 and it is a Beckett 9.5 absolutely incredible that is the ebay top 10 for this week well let's check in with the predictors now and we'll kick things off with the coleman medal tally and charlie kerno remains on top with 56 total goals he had a three against port adelaide but jesse hogan is just three goals behind him he kicked four goals against the D's, bringing his total up to 53. And then we have Ben King on 46. He added one goal. Harry Mackay remains on 44 goals. Jake Waterman kicked three to bring his tally up to 44, along with Harry. And Josh Tracy is on 42 goals for the year. In the Brownlow medal standing, it is very, very, very close at the top. So this is according to the afl.com.au Brownlow medal predictor page. They have Patrick Cripps and Lockie Neal neck and neck on 26 each and Nick Dacos on 25. So it is looking like it is going to be an absolutely super, super close Brownlow. Could, it, uh, could we see more than one person win it this year? We've got Errol Gordon and Zach Merritt and Caleb Sarong on 21. Then turning our attention to the Premiership odds, we have Brisbane and Sydney now equal faves. Then we've got the Blues and the Bulldogs and Frio there. And then in the Rising Star uh, odds, Ollie Dempsey is now outright favorite for the rising star this year that is your look at the afl predictor here we go it's time for the highlight and the rising star for another week let's see how lucky we've been just move that over to take out the uh, little address slip and we have, oh, we've got the doggies here. We've got Jamari Hagen as our round 18 highlight, kicking four goals, 20 disposals against the Blues. Now we did get a Jamari Hagen number one last year. So can history repeat? Uh, probably not. That would be absolutely ridiculous luck, but 
I don't know. Let's let's see. But first, we have Lawson Humphreys from Geelong as our Rising Star nominee for round 18. So well done, Lawson. Very well done indeed. So let's check the numbers. We'll check the Rising Star first. Oh, okay. That's not quite a number one, but it's as close as we've got for the highlights this year. Um, I don't, yeah, wow. Number two out of 279. That's very nice indeed. Well, I think that's, I mean, surely after that, we're not gonna get a number one. That's, oh, no. Well, there is a number one there, but there's also a six and a three. 163 this time for Jamara. And um, that's all good. We'll, we'll spread the love for number one, uh, J-U-H's. But there you go, 163 out of 224. Wow. So the cats beating the uh, dogs there in uh, how many were purchased. Also beating in lower number as well. So that is the uh, round 18 highlight and rising star. And now we have some random packs of footy stars to open. One of my favorite parts of uh, the video. One of my favorite parts of the day. We love opening up footy cards. And we want, we'd love to find a predictor. We haven't got a predictor for a while. The predictors are really fun, especially if you've got something that you can follow. This is... Pack's not behaving. Oh, I think I really think of that back base card. Sorry, Jack. But here we go for our very first pack. What do we have? It's going to make a footy head. It's a pies. It's Jordan Dugowie. Geordie, welcome. I've got Lockie Whitfield in it. So the, yeah, we um still collecting those. Still collecting, trying to round out the collection. And I have no idea if we've got Lockie Whitfield or not. That pack opened up a lot better. What do, oh, it's a Stats Kings, a Kyle Langford. We've got Cam Zerha. Um, yeah, no premiership predictors. Um, yeah, the guys just like, even if it's a team that's not going to win or, you know, in contention, it'd just be cool just to have a version. Um, yeah, just, just to have something. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a milestone. <laughs> That's still surprising me. And um, we've got Harry Himmelberg, 150 games, um, which he achieved in the elimination final 2023. Ooh, that was a... Uh, um, we have, so, what am I reading? I'm recruited from, okay, this I don't even know how to pronounce that. Mango, Mangapla, Mangapla Q. I'm sure. Uh, we're in New South Wales. We've got New South Wales, ACT under 18 and East Lake. Wow. So he's been a giant his whole time in the AFL. So well done, Harry. And then we've got Sam Walsh in the, uh, the Luminous Bay. And we did have a lot of fun opening up the Brownlow box. And okay, it's just a Noah Anderson. We did have a lot of fun opening up the Brownlow box and you might be thinking, don't I get any other Brownlow boxes? Because you know, you could buy more than one. But I've only opened up one. So did I get, did I get another one? Well, I might, I might have. I might have got another one for the grand final special. So that's something very exciting. So the, the Brownlow love will continue. Okay, I'm getting a bit excited, but is that a... Okay, 
okay, I thought there was somebody at the door, but it's not. <laughs> um, I'm always getting Future Force mixed up with the um, Premiership Predictors. Is it just a Future Force? Not just, but... Oh, it is a Future Force, but it's Bo McCreary! Nice! I think this is the first Pies Future Force we've picked up. Oh, that's very cool indeed, and the Indigenous Guernsey as well. Oh, that's sick. Love that. That's awesome. I've got Andrew Brayshaw with um, half the uh, the paint from the ground all over his leg. So yes. So the grand final special is always very exciting. And yeah. So yeah. I've got a brown my box for that. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. And we've got a footy head, we've got Jai Simpkin and Adam Chera. I think there are birds in the tree out front. And they're knocking nuts everywhere. And it just sounds like somebody knocking at the front door. But there's not. But it's a bit distracting. Okay. Here we go. Second last packet for two day that's looking shiny it's okay nice we've got a thunderbolt um melbourne maybe oh crows every time i've guessed it it's always been wrong um riley o'brien crows love love the uh, the three colored teams um there's more color going on love them they look great um and they are numbered as well so we did pick up a number one, and we're not picking up a number one. We've got a number 169. So, that's still very cool though. And we've got one final pack left. So let's, let's open that, shall we? That's, that's what we do. Okay, here we go. It's looking like we're finishing with an Elliot Yo um, base. Luminous. Well, thanks so much for joining me for another edition of Score Center with a combined Footy Stars pack opening. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun. And yeah, like I said, I'll be back on Saturday with a Pies v Blues team coach pack battle and NRL on Sunday, of course. I'll see you back next week. But until then, stay cool, take care. My name is Dave. This is Scorecard Collectibles. And I can't wait to see you next time.